and we have work to do let's get on with it let's find the studs in the wall this is a stud finder wait till the come on and we move it slowly there there's an edge of a stud Believe me, this is going to be yeah, important later. To there. So running down here, that sounds hollow, not hollow, hollow. So running down there where I've written stud, that's where I believe the stud will be. So when I'm putting that stuff down on the floor against that wall to screw it in, I need to attach it to something solid. The stuff down the bottom is actually a base plate and that will take the weight of the marble and the granite. It will sit upon it and it'll hold it there. Hello little girl. had to go into work this morning into the office so this is really just a half day's effort let's go outside for a bit of a break take a look at my little magnolias they're just starting to bloom i think they're fantastic you come for a look if you little girl Now, we wondered what this tree was that grew like a weed. It just grew, and I said, I'm going to chop it out until we know what it is. Once we know what it is, we might keep it. And here it is. Look at this. I think this is an Acer. Acer palmatum violaceum. Because I planted some out on my farm, and now I've got a seedling growing up here. Fascinating. Very, very pretty. And this in full blossom is an avocado tree. This means hundreds and hundreds of avocados, which currently cost $2.50 each. So this is our $5,000 tree. Yay! We really have to get on with working on this this summer. Finishing finishing the paving, putting the roof on. These are where our black tulips are, but they're not doing so well so far. But these ones have little buds. Look at them. Delicious. Okay, now we are outside and we are ready for action. I've got my slab on the ground. I've got my trusty diamond saw ready and it's a lovely day, it's not too hot, it's overcast, so I'll be able to get on with this. So you think it's noisy and it's rather painful to watch, but I have to say, try doing it yourself. It is noisy and it's very heavy and it's hard work, but I really enjoy it. And the results are fantastic. And now I just chop up all the extra bits into nice rectangles so that they have some use later on while I have out the machine tool because getting it out and getting filthy on a different day is just a waste of my time.
and yay first piece of marble inside can't wait to get the rest in well i do have to wait i have to wait for my friend rupert to come and give me a hand because i cannot carry the big one by myself and are you interested hey hello little puppy yeah what's going on here a lot today lots of interesting things Oh, take the nail out. Yeah. Splodge. 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 Now, I need something to hold it there because it's going to fall down. One. Two. What do you think, little girl? What do you think? It's all too boring, isn't it? Yes, it's all too boring. Hey, well that's two. I can't get the middle one in until my good friend Rupert arrives. <sighs> and then I'm going to cut the big pieces for the top now. Now this is where things get ugly because what I have in mind is to insert the upper panel slightly back from the front ones, giving a step back. And that means hacking holes in my wall. And this is the most fun. Now I can see what I'm up against. And look at that, a nogging right where I expected it to be. Machine don't lie. Is there one up there as well? Yes. Excellent. Now we're back to figuring again. We want the marble to actually sit flush. So then the frame goes around it and it looks good. So I need to measure off at the back where that is flush. And I need to cut through that nogging, that one and that one the same. And then the marble will go into the wall, be resting on a plate I'll put down there. And then the frame will go around it and it will be beautiful and set back from the one below. It looks better to my way of thinking and until it's finished we won't know. Now this is the hard bit. Actual Hard yakka. Yeah. Now we're outside again, the other side of the house. It's because I like to cut the marble on grass. Uh, then you can cut right through you might score a line in the grass but that grows over in a week so it's a really really good way of getting things done and it's also nice out here because that beautiful weeping peach tree is just just gorgeous just lovely just lovely
Well, my friend Rupert came and went, and I did need him to help carry the big slab and also to get the long slab in the top. So if you'd like a preview of how we're going, there you go. Brown marble my wife doesn't like, which is actually black and pink, and the green marble, which I think goes nicely with the trees. And then at the top, I've got to do all of that work that I have on the other pavilion outside. Just gonna alter it to make it match. You can see this beautiful frieze along here. Well, I'm gonna do that little frieze along the top in three dimensions. It's magnifique, n'est-ce pas? Hey, little girl. What do you think of the mess? Has Daddy made a big mess? Yes, he has, but you haven't even noticed the wall, I'm sure. I'm sure you wouldn't even notice that. But I like the sort of subtle greens in that piece of marble matches with the trees. And then the earth tones are at the bottom. Oh, it's all very, mm, inside a forest. C'est magnifique, n'est-ce pas?